In this video, I will show you how to automate a fillable field PDF uh, using Gabble. So here I have a PDF. Uh, it's a fillable field type PDF. Um, this is an immigration form and I want to automate this. So the way, what I'm going to do, set this aside, I am going to start creating the questions that I need based on this PDF. I'll create them here. In reality, I would create a lot more questions than I have here, but I've just done a few as an example. Once I have created my questions, then I'll go over to document templates, and then I will upload the PDF that I want to automate. So I can choose attach template to the workflow. Then I can drag or upload the document that I want. Okay, I have it, I'll attach it. Success, all right, now I have this uh, PDF attached to this workflow. Now the next step is to tag this PDF. So I'll click here on tag. And now I see my PDF and I have the option to start tagging the fields. And by tagging, we mean connecting the fields in the PDF to your questions in your workflow. So here I want to fill out this family name. I already made a variable that I can match to that. So I'm going to click on it and I will choose insert variable and I'll choose that uh, family name, which was last name. All right, so that one's all set. Now I want to choose a uh, first name. So I'll go again to insert variable, first name. I'll do middle name, insert variable, middle name, just like that. And I'll keep doing that for all of my variables. Now I'll save my work and we'll see what that looks like. So we can run the workflow. And then open the PDF. And I can see that the name was filled in just as I set it up. Now, when I have my PDF tagger open, whenever I click on a field, I have a few options. So I can leave it untagged as it is right now, or I can enter text, insert variable, or insert conditional value. What we did up here was enter insert variable, uh, but here maybe I want to insert uh, enter text because it's always going to be the same thing in all of my PDFs. Realistically, with this form, that's not the case, but in some it may be. So you can write that text in and then every time you automate this PDF, you'll have this exact same piece of text right there. And maybe I need to do that in another place as well. Another option I have is to insert a conditional value. So in this case, I'm just going to make up a silly example, but I'm going to click uh, here and maybe I want to insert conditional value. I want to show some text based on this um, employer individual uh, uh, variable. So I select it. I'm going to build the equation. So if, if this is any of um, it's the employer, then put this text in. That's what I'm going to put in. In all other cases, I'm just going to leave it blank. So now if we run this, I'm going to choose the question that employer, because that's crucial for the output. And so I chose employer, and so now that text appears.